Uh, we've got some rain trying to creep in from the south and southwest, so it's a slow mover. Um, should be there by 10 o'clock. We were talking about that earlier in the show, and I think it's going to be around the metro area between about 10 and 11 o'clock, the way it looks right now. 39 degrees here in Indianapolis, 37 Crawfordsville as well as Lafayette, and 36 uh, this hour in Anderson. So the view from downtown, 39 Southeast wind at 6. Yesterday we had a full deck of sun, low 50s. That won't be the case today, obviously, but this was expected. Here's Future Track 13 at 1 o'clock. See the showers, albeit light rain, but they're going to be around here. That's going to keep our temperatures in the lower 40s for the better part of the day. And as we got a little bit of a brisk wind, now it's not real strong, but 5 to 10. As we go through tonight, because we have this blanket of clouds over us, we will not see temperatures drop much. Our average high is 38. That's about where we start tomorrow. And though we're not going to have a lot of sun tomorrow, we still get our numbers up close to 50 degrees. If you are doing any traveling tomorrow or the next couple of days, there's no significant big-time storms, okay? We are going to have to watch later in the week. There's going to be a pretty strong cold front. We're going to be on the warmer side of that front. This is Friday. Strong southwest wind with rain and 50s. Next Saturday, we're behind the front, and we're in the mid-30s. And based on latest data sets, confidence is really beginning to increase that we are going to have a much, much below normal temperature pattern for Christmas Day. Now, that doesn't necessarily equate, though, to heavy snow, all right? But there may be a, a storm that may try to develop here across the Ohio Valley or points southward. We'll have to kind of wait on that part of the forecast. But right now we're thinking it might be one of our colder Christmas days we've had in some time. Here's your seven-day, 55 on Tuesday, 50 on Thursday. And you can see the transition there, Lisa, uh, as we go from Friday to Saturday.